Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be going over the details of part two of the eight year anniversary. So, we're going to dive right into it. Honestly, I don't know. First glance at it, not really uh, too impressed with it. But you guys can go ahead and let me know what you guys think. Um, but we do know that there is some stuff we're not seeing as well. There's definitely um, some stuff missing and going to be announced here soon. But we got more stages of this event we've been doing. The Wishes Backfire, Birth of the Shadow Dragons. We got some new stages added to a couple of these story events. So maybe they'll add another free-to-play units or some free-to-play units that might easy A in Part 3 or something like that. And then we're also getting that... LR Bobbity that has the standby skill into Majin Vegeta and then he goes into Fat Boo. Um, and then this is a link level event right here. It's supposed supposed to be like one of the best link level events we've ever had. Like better than the, the revamped Guru event and you know the Turtle School event that we have. Um, we have a new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. We'll, we'll be knocking that out here pretty soon. Um, for some reason this Super Strike Tien is in here with his easy A. I don't, I don't know why that's in there. Um, or, or Raditz. Um, I guess because the World Tournament's here, maybe, since he's one of the AoE units. Same with, uh, the Battle Prep Bulma event for some support items. But yeah, World Tournament, woo! <laughs> Who's ready for it? I'm not gonna really go too hard on that because it is on JP, um... This is not my main account. And that's it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's all we got so far. So we got new missions, new stages to this event, new story. Or, yeah, new stages added to this story events. Link, new Link level event, new Infinite Dragon Ball history, and then the World Tournament. Um, but also... The part two anniversary LRs were revealed, and unfortunately, it is not going to be Kid Buu in Omega Shenron, which kind of sucks. It is very disappointing. Um, but all we know, they haven't released like the actual LRs, but all we know is the SSRs. Is, is It's going to start as like a Kid Gohan from Z. Um, you know, when he's training with Piccolo and stuff, he's got like that sword on his back and Goku's gi on. And then a base form Goku. Um, from somewhere, I'm, I'm not really sure um, what that's all about, but yeah, that's we'll, we'll see what the actual LRs are, um, but that's just their SSRs, so we'll see, but the banners do look pretty good, there's two Carnival LR banners, um, so the one with the Kid Gohan on it has got like Golden Frieza, LR Metal Cooler, the LR Goku and Piccolo, the ones from the Saiyan Saga, and then Great Ape Vegeta. That's all we see so far. There's definitely going to be a couple other featured LRs on there. And then for the base form Goku banner, um, we got Carnival LR Goku, the tech one, Fusion Zamasu, LR um, Cell Saga Gohan and Goku, and then LR Kaioken Goku is what the banners are looking like for part two. Um, but yeah, we'll see if uh, these two part two LRs have anything to do with uh, the Spirit Bomb. Um, I'd imagine they have to, because that would just be kind of random if, if they don't. Um, but yeah, we got the, the LR Bobbity here. Goes into Majin Vegeta for a standby skill. Kind of cool, I guess. I see what they're going for. Hopefully when, when they easy in part three, they'll be a lot better. That's usually how it does go. And then yeah, we got some new stages here. So Hercules got his awakening. Another, uh... Another Hercule card, not really nothing too crazy. Um, I doubt he's going to be too useful. Um, we got some support memories here. I normally don't really grind for support memories. I still got to finish some on my main global, but I really haven't gotten like any support memories over here on JP. And then, yeah, we got some new stages here. So we already did the first three stages, and we got four, five, and six. So we got some more dragons to take down, and then the newest stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history here. Stage 24 looks like Majin Buu Saga Super Class. 
warriors. I mean, I guess Majin Vegeta is in there, but it just looks like a Majin Buu saga. So, that'll be fun. Always like uh, clearing these Infinite Dragon Ball history stages. But, I think we also do know that Blue Kaioken Goku, as well as Spear Bomb Absorbed, LR, Goku, are going to be getting their easy A's. So I do have him 79% over here. I definitely need to throw him on the Link level team and start Link leveling him. And then Blue Kaioken, let's see. Oh man. I only have one copy of him. Yep. <laughs> one copy of him over here. So that's going to kind of be like a Fizz Super Vegito kind of deal showcase. Um, at least I got one copy of him. So if... LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta gets an easy A, like during part 3 or something, I'm not going to be able to showcase him because I actually don't have him on this version, unfortunately. So that kind of stinks. Because um, I feel like he would he would go like very well with these guys. Um, even though he does, doesn't does have Prepared for Battle and he has like Royal Lineage and uh, he might have Prodigies and stuff like that, but he'll still be good to like run on these guys' this team because he's on Battle of Fate. Or, well, I guess these guys don't lead Battle of Fate. I think it's connect. They're two hundred percent leader skills, connected hope and um, Majin Buu Saga. And they lead uh, Power Wishes and Final Trump cards. So. But I think I think that Vegeta should still fall under their category. Hopefully. But, yep, that's gonna do it for part two. Um, not too much really. Um, but hopefully. We will get those easy A's for Blue Kaioken and then LR Spear Bomb Absorbed Goku. So we've got a couple new things to clear. Not really looking forward to the World Tournament. That's, I feel like that shouldn't even be something that's a part of the anniversary. They should just replace that with like some more easy A's or maybe some missions from the legendary events. You know, could even do some new Red Zone stages. Who knows? Um, but alright, guys. Let me know what you think of part two of the eight-year anniversary. Uh, we'll see what the LRs are. Uh, like I said, it is kind of disappointing. It's not Kid Buu and Omega, but we'll see. Hopefully, they're still pretty hype. Um, and at least, hopefully, they at least have something to do with the Spirit Bomb. So, we will see. Only time will tell. But all right, guys, let me know what you guys think of part two of the eight-year anniversary. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.